The Louvre Pyramid is one of the top three most recognizable landmarks of Paris, after the Eiffel Tower and Arc de Triomphe. Inaugurated in 1908-9 in a short span, the Louvre Pyramid has won over art lovers and become an integral part of the Parisian Art Museum. Even though the massive glass pyramid is the entrance to the Louvre Museum, it is a tourist attraction in itself. Today, the Louvre is a spacious museum, but before the glass pyramid, it wasn't so. In the early 1980s, Louvre Museum had the finest collections globally, yet they were running out of space to display. The galleries were disjointed because of the lack of space and the visitor experience was poor. So much so there were only two public bathrooms to cater to the 2.5 million visitors who would come in annually. In 1981, when socialist François Mitterrand was elected the French president, he announced that the Louvre was his top priority. In 1983, the new president invited Chinese-American architect Eo Ming Pei and gave him the commission to modernize the Louvre. I.M. Pei decided to place a new entrance in the Kerr Napoleon, the courtyard enclosed by the museum's existing buildings. The entrance would be in the middle of the courtyard, surrounded by a transparent pyramid. The transparent glass pyramid solved three purposes, offer the visitor a grand feeling of arrival, offer space for visitor services, and light up the underground area. Since the structure was transparent, it won't obscure the historic Louvre Museum's buildings around as well. While the Louvre Pyramid is 21.6 meters tall, its square base has sides of 34 meters. The pyramid has 673 glass segments, 603 rhombi, and 70 triangular shaped. Architect I.M. Pei Solution added more than 92,000 square meters of floor space to the museum and doubled the exhibition space from 31,000 square meters to over 60,000 square meters. While the Louvre Pyramid does have its charm during the day, its allure becomes manifold at night. At sunset, it lights up, entertaining the tourists who love to hang around the courtyard long after the art museum has closed for the day. For more such travel videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.